Hi! In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet right here. This bracelet is my own original design, and as you can see, it's kind of reversible. It's pretty much the same thing on either side, except the stripe up here would be on the bottom, but anyway. The name of this bracelet here is the Fishy Zebra Bracelet, and I did have a What Should I Name This Bracelet video up for about one or two weeks and I did get two suggestions that I decided to use in the bracelet name and I'm showing you right now here on my iPod so we have it's just Millie with the she put zebra but I do believe she meant zebra but if she didn't I, I, I used zebra <laughs> and then this comment down here with the fish combine so combine kind of got me to combine the two names together. So, anyway. Also, another fact about this bracelet is that it's a variation of my climbing tire track bracelet I'm showing you right now. It's this bracelet right here. This bracelet I created last year and I do have a tutorial for it on both a monster tail and a regular loom. And there will be a link to both of those tutorials in the description. But I will warn you that the beginning I talk for like 5 minutes and then the tutorial's like really slow. So I will be making an updated tutorial for this bracelet sometime maybe in March. So maybe next month. But anyway, to make this bracelet here, the Fishy Zebra Bracelet, you're going to need a finger loom or just 4 pins on any loom. The instructions in this tutorial are specifically for finger looms, but you can just use four pins on a muster tail or an ordinary loom. You will need a clip. Any clip will work as long as it's for rubber band bracelets. And you will also need rubber bands. So as you can see here, we have three different groups, the A group, the B group, and the C group. And I'm going to go ahead and just explain what each group is. This A group here these A rubber bands, they are the rubber bands that will be on one side of your bracelet. These B rubber bands, the second group here, they are going to be on the opposite side, so you'll have the A rubber bands on one side and then the B rubber bands on the other. And the C rubber bands are going to be the first and the last rubber bands in your bracelet. So the cap band and then this single chain looking rubber band here that's holding this end of the bracelet. Now I cannot really tell you how many rubber bands you will need to make this bracelet because everyone has a different wrist size and this is a growing bracelet so as you make it the bracelet slowly gets longer and longer unless if you make the bracelet really fast. You want to have the same number of A rubber bands as you do B rubber bands and the other way around. But C rubber bands you will only need two. So yeah, now that you know what you're going to need, get your supplies, use the pause button so that you can do so, and I will see you once you have everything. Alright, so to begin making your bracelet, you're going to need one of your C color rubber bands, three A color rubber bands, and three B color rubber bands to get started. So, you're also going to, okay, need the Rainbow Loom logo pin on your finger loom to be the pin that is closest to you. And you'll need to make sure that this is true every time you loom or turn your finger loom around. So whenever you start the next step, make sure the Rainbow Loom logo pin is the pin closest to you. Alright, so anyway, to start, you're going to get your C color rubber band first. And what we're going to do is we're going to place it vertically across our finger loom from this rainbow loom logo pin to this pin that is above it. You should also have your pins in this kind of diamond shape. So like this, not like a square like this, but like this. And yeah, so you're going to place this rubber band vertically. But as you pull the rubber band up, you need to twist the rubber band. And when you twist it, you're going to put this new shape that you create onto this pin that is vertical from the Rainbow Loom logo pin. So you should have something like this. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to stretch out these triangles here to the other pins here on the outsides. So this Rainbow Loom Logo pin, we're going to grab this C color brand that's there and stretch it out to this pin here on the left. And the rubber band that's up here on this pin that is on the opposite side of the Rainbow Loom Logo pin, you're going to grab this rubber band that's on here and stretch it out to the right. And now you should have something like this. And once you do, now we're going to start adding our A and B rubber bands. So we will not need any more C color rubber bands, so you won't need this last C rubber band until the end. The end. And now we're going to get an A color rubber band. So, our A color rubber bands, what we're going to do with them, is our first one is going to go from the Rainbow Loom logo pin vertically across the loom, like so. And then we're going to grab the left side of the rubber band, so we kind of have this long part here on the left and this long part over here on the right. We're going to grab the left side of this rubber band and pull it out to the pin here on the left. So you should have a triangle that's kind of pointing towards the left. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get a B color rubber band now. And we're going to do the same thing with it except we, after we've stretched this rubber band vertically across the Rainbow Loom logo pin and the pin vertically across from it. We're going to grab the right side of this rubber band instead and bring it out to this pin out here on the right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to loom the bottom rubber band on all four pins. So here, and it is a C color rubber band on all four pins, just so you know. And also the C color rubber band that we had added and that we are looming right now was the cap band. And the cap band is this rubber band here that is this circle shape. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to loom the bottom rubber band again here only on these two pins here. So the Rainbow Loom logo pin and the pin across from it. And it should be an A color rubber band on the bottom. Just so make sure you loom the bottom rubber band on both of those two pins. And now there should only be one rubber band on all four pins. Now we're going to get another A color rubber band. And what we're going to do with it is we're going to place it going vertically across the Rainbow Loom logo pin and the pin across from it. And we're going to look here on these two middle, or so, yeah, these two pins we just placed the A color rubber band on. And we're going to figure out which direction the rubber band below it is going. And this B color rubber band is going out to the right. So that means what we're going to do is we're going to grab the left side of this A color rubber band we just placed and stretch it out to the left. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to loom the bottom rubber band only on the Rainbow Loom logo pin and the pin across from it. Not this pin over here on the left. So just here. And here. Not where there are two A color rubber bands. Alright, where is... okay. Now we're going to get a B color rubber band. And we're going to do the same thing with it. We're going to stretch it across vertically on the loom rainbow loom logo pin to the pin across from it and we're going to look here on these same two pins and figure out where this bottom rubber band is going and it is going to the left so this B color rubber band needs to be grabbed on the right side and stretched out to the right now we're going to do the same th thing for looming again so only on this Rainbow Loom logo pin and the pin across from it are we going to loom the bottom rubber bands. We're not going to do anything over here on the right and we're not going to do anything over here on the left. Not yet. Let's just loom the bottom here. The other pin. Loom the bottom here. Not where you have these two B color rubber bands or these two A color rubber bands. Alright, so now here is where we start the pattern 
for making this bracelet. And you will see here in just a second. So, to make this bracelet, you... So what we do now is we get our A color rubber band, another one, and we do the same thing. We stretch it across the Rainbow Loom logo pin and the pin across from it. Then we figure out where the bottom rubber band on these same two pins is going, and it's going out to the right. So this rubber band needs to be stretched out to the left. And this is an A color rubber band, what we just placed, just so you know. And now what we're going to do is we're going to loom the bottom rubber band on the Rainbow Loom logo pin and the pin across from it. And we're also going to loom the bottom rubber band over here on the left. So, why we're doing this now is because we have three layers of rubber bands, and you need three layers of rubber bands to make a fishtail. So that is why I had you wait to loom the left side here. So go ahead and loom the bottom A color of our band. And we can push everything down. And now we're going to move on to our B color of our band. So what you do with this B color of our band is you place it going vertically across your finger loom from the rainbow loom logo pin to the pin across from it. You figure out which direction this bottom rubber band on the same two pins is going, and it's going out here to the left. So we need to move this rubber band out to the right. Now here on these two middle pins, or goodness, these two pins here, we're going to go ahead and loom the bottom rubber band. And we're also going to loom the bottom rubber band here on the right because we now have three layers of rubber bands here. And there you go. So that is the pattern for making this bracelet, what I just showed you with the fishtail looming stuff, not the part where we didn't loom the outsides. And I'm going to actually show you the pattern for making this bracelet one more time. And then I'm going to leave you to continue making this bracelet on your own because it's very easy to make once you kind of know what you're doing. So, always, there should never be more than three rubber bands on this Rainbow Loom logo pin and the pin vertical from it. So these two pins here should never have three rubber bands on them. And these two pins here, the left and the right pin, should never have one rubber band on them except for maybe at the end when we finish making the bracelet but never should they have one rubber band on them they should either have two or three this one or yes these two here should either have two or one one or two all right so anyway to make this bracelet first you get an a color rubber band and you stretch it vertically across your loom from this rainbow loom logo pin to this pin over here across from it then what you do is you look at the rubber band below this one you just placed on the same two pins and figure out where it's going and it's going out to the right so this rubber band needs to be stretched out to the left <clears throat> I think I'm losing my voice and, <coughs> and once you have stretched the rubber band out so now you have this triangle shape you need to loom the bottom rubber band on all three pins that it is on. So that's another way to remember what to loom. So here on this Rainbow Loom logo pin, you loom the bottom rubber band. Here on the left, you loom the bottom rubber band. And then here on this pin vertical from the Rainbow Loom logo pin, you loom the bottom rubber band. Alright. Now you get a B color rubber band and you stretch it across vertically on your finger loom, rainbow loom logo pin, pin across from it. You look at the rubber band below this one you just placed and figure out where it's going and it's going out here to the left. And what we're going to do with this rubber band we just placed is we're going to move it out to the right. So pull it out to the right like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to loom the bottom rubber band on all three pins this 
rubber band we just stretched out is on. So this B color rubber band. So here on the Rainbow Loom Lego pin, this pin here on the right, and then also here on this pin. That is ac vertically across from this Rainbow Loom Lego pin. So as you can see here, I still have two rubber bands on this left pin. I did not do anything to this left pin when I placed and loomed for this B color rubber band. And so, as you can see, there's still two rubber bands here on these outer pins, the left and right pins, and there's only one rubber band here on the Rainbow Loom logo, logo pin and the pin across from it. So yeah, that's pretty much all you do. You just continue this pattern of placing and looming and switching and all that craziness over and over until you have made your bracelet long enough to fit around your wrist. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. I'm not going to fast forward myself making the rest of my bracelet because it will take a while. This bracelet does take a while to make. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So. If you're still not sure of how to make this bracelet, then just go back a few minutes, or just a couple minutes, in the tutorial where I do explain how to make this bracelet, and that's pretty much all I have to say. So, go ahead and use the pause button if you need to, and I will see you once it's time to make your bracelet a bracelet. Alright, so as you can see here, I have now made my fishy zebra bracelet long enough so now it will fit around my wrist and you should have as well and what we're going to do now is we're going to finish off our bracelet and make it a bracelet so to do this you're going to need your last C color rubber band and a clip so your clip and also you need to make sure you have one rubber band on the rainbow loom logo pin and the pin vertical from it and two rubber bands on the left and right pins. Alright, so once you have what I have here, and this rubber band that's on the Rainbow Loom logo pin and the pin vertical to it, does not need to be coming from the right. It could be coming from the left or the right. But anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to loom the bottom rubber bands on all four pins, if there are any. So, over here on the left we have a rubber band underneath of another so there are two rubber bands here we're just going to go ahead and loom the bottom one and here on the right pin we're going to do the same there should already only be one rubber band on the rainbow loom logo pin and the pin across from it all right so now you're going to want to have your c color rubber band ready and what we're going to do now is we're going to move all of these rubber bands that are here on our loom onto two pins and these two pins are the Rainbow Loom logo pin in the pin that is vertical from it. So these two here. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this rubber band here on the left first. We're going to carefully grab it, pull it off, and then bring it down here to the Rainbow Loom logo pin. Then, over here on the right, we're going to grab the rubber band that's here carefully take it off and move it up to the pin that is across from the Rainbow Loom logo pin. And also make sure you do not twist the rubber bands when you move them to their pins. So now there should only be two pins on your loom that have rubber bands on them. And one of these two pins should have an A and a B color rubber band on it. And for me it's this Rainbow Loom logo pin. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get our C color rubber band and stretch it vertically across these two pins here. So the only two that have rubber bands on it, that's where the C color rubber band is going. And you're also going to want to have your clip nearby now. And what we're going to do is we're going to loom all of the bottom rubber bands on both pins. So here we have these two bottom rubber bands. And then on the other pin we have these two bottom rubber bands. So just loom everything on the bottom, and now there's only one rubber band on two pins. So one rubber band here, and one rubber band here. Now we're going to bring both ends of this rubber band that we have on our loom together. And you can bring them to whichever pin you want. I'm just going to bring mine up, or I'm going to bring mine down to the Rainbow Loom Lego pin. So 
what you do is you grab one side of the rubber band, very carefully take it off the pin and move it to whichever pin you wish to move it to, but make sure both ends of this rubber band are together like this. And then you're going to want to get your clip and attach it to these two little loops here on the one pin. So there should only be one pin on your loom now that has it rubber bands on it. So attach the clip. And once the clip is on, you can go ahead and take these rubber bands off. And then you'll need to attach your clip to your cap band, which is the circular rubber band on the other end of your bracelet. So, the cap band, what you're going to do is you're going to stretch it onto one of these pins. I'm going to use this rainbow loom logo pin. And we're only going to need to stretch it across one pin because these pins are pretty wide and it and one pin should stretch out the cap band enough so you can get your clip on the other end of your bracelet and then attach it to this stretched out cap band and once you have your clip attached to your cap band you can pull the cap band off of the loom and now your clip should be attached to both ends of your bracelet So. Now what you can do is you can go ahead and put your bracelet on, and bam! So as you can see here, I am now wearing my fishy zebra bracelet, and hopefully you are as well. And well, now it's time for the outro. So, I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully it showed you how to make this bracelet here successfully, the fishy zebra bracelet. and. Hopefully you now have this bracelet or in, and enjoying this bracelet and wearing it and hopefully you've made it successfully. And if you are interested, if you like this bracelet, you can also make this one here. I use the same color scheme on this bracelet that I did this one. And this one here is the inverted fishy zebra bracelet. And you do pretty much the same thing you did for this regular bracelet here, but instead you do inverted fishtail stitches on the outsides. And if you, and I would not recommend doing this on a finger loom unless you've made an inverted fishtail on a finger loom. And I do have a tutorial for that, but I will have a tutorial for this bracelet, but it will not be on a finger loom, and it will be on a monster tail. And yeah, so if you're interested in making this bracelet here, I will have a link to the tutorial in the description once I get it up. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for that bracelet. Back to the fishy zebra bracelet. Um, one thing I like about this design is that it looks really cool. Like it's a really cool variation for my climbing tire track very nice addition to the family <laughs> and the one thing I don't like about this bracelet is it's very difficult to figure out how many rubber bands you need because apparently having two times the number of rubber bands you need to make yourself a fishtail is just too much it's very weird but still pretty cool looking I guess and yeah so that's pretty much all I have to say for this tutorial other than thanks for watching, and bye!